Dear Professor and colleague of mine from the DEUS, from the Department of Information Engineering, on this short talk, on this webinar of 15 minutes, I'd like to share with you part of my research that I have developed so far. So the report here is just for the for the for the second year. As you have uh, likely seen from the title, I'm working with biomathematics. So nowadays, it is mediated by research that obesity is is a uh, in the any kind of uh, any kind of med condition ambiguous. It means that it's everywhere. I mean, unfortunately, it's not anymore a problem of the developed country. So it can be assumed that it's a it's a problem of our environment that the environment has changed very fast compared to our metabolism. So on the on the paper we, I'm sorry this this this, this was a summary of a paper. So you can see the paper here. The paper was published in the beginning was sent was written for the first time in the beginning of the year i published the first version in the research gate my profile then recently i decided to make a version for publication also on the paper i give a general review of the problem so i'm i'm i'm, I'm using this abstract because the paper give precisely what i what i'm i'm what i'm doing on research so the view is called the theo uh, theo uh, theoretical biology uh, theoretical biology has other names as well as such as mathematical biology, biomathematics, and so on. Basically, uh, the the work is a uh, the paper itself is a uh, the big idea that's called the big glucose model, which is the idea of Professor uh, of the Doctor Andrea Gaetano, which was my co-advisor. He gave the idea. I like the idea. It started developed. So insulin was covered in the in the end of the of the 19th century, it was for the first time, for the first time, singled out from the pancreas of the pigs in the beginning of the 20th century, and by the end of this of the of the last century, it was effectively used on the treatment of diabetes and the any kind of other 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 any kind of um, other medical condition. So. Insulin is a very important uh, hormone in the control of uh, glucose, and the motivation of my work is that uh, uh, insulin is not the only hormone. You need to, in order to make a, a let's say, a virtual human, um, a virtual system, we should take into account other hormones. So, so this second part here is the so uh, this was abstract of one paper. This abstract of the other paper. This is the, the other paper that was published recently. So this one showed the big idea, the big picture. This one is more specific. So uh, if you can see that the, this will be the more or less introduction of my of my PhD thesis. So it will be the introduction. So I, I will start with this big picture. I start with this big idea. Then I, I'm planning to shift for this for this small idea. Maybe in the middle of this two, I'm going to talk about a little bit about the, about insulin, about leptin, and then in the end, this is my final goal. So can you think that this is the introduction? You have some kind of bit information about the leptin, insulin, and likely about the other hormones, which I explained very fast in this paper, and then we shift to the to ghrelin, which is the main goal. Of my of my of my work. So why ghrelin is the main goal? Because leptin and insulin, which are the two hormones that I have chosen to work with, both of them already have mephmeric model. Insulin, insulin has a lot of mephmeric model. Pasquale, Palumbo, and the uh, all of these authors of the paper here, except myself, they have been working extensively on the on this kind of, of on insulin. However, ghrelin is not rich. There is no mephmeric model. Uh, pursuing the same goal that I'm, I'm doing right now on, the, on this paper. That was the motivation of the paper. So on the publication, uh, I present uh, the first mathematical model, which is very simple. It's a mathematical model to use just the gut, the, the stomach, and the, and the duodenum. We are facing some challenge now, which which is not mathematical. It's a, it's a, it's a medical literature problem because there is no good understanding exactly how leptin works with ghrelin. We don't know. So uh, one of the big ambition of the model is to propose some some kind of uh, connection, some kind of uh, relationship between leptin and ghrelin, and uh, make some some numeric simulation and propose it. 
ask the 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 medical director to make experiment and to see it's wrong or it's right. So the problematic that no single attempt so far has been proposed or, or important enough. So the motivation is, is more simple. It's a lack of uh, important research in the area of ghrelin, since you have a lot of, not a lot of, have some papers published in the area of ghrelin, but there is no mathematical model to try to make sense of that. So this is the, this picture here, I was able to, 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 to draw it in the beginning of the, of the year because in the, in the last year I was working with pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamics, I, I, I attend SEB less and I know some nice professors and so on. And the, the, prob, the problem that he, in the beginning of this year, it was, we had a, a meeting with Andrea or Constanz or Pasquale and Boy, Boy and Boris and so on and realized that we it needs to shift the, the research to this to this uh, kind of feel of of model because it would be more protective. And they gave me the challenge to to understand it. They we start with leptin. Leptin was the first one they gave me a paper about mathematical model of leptin. Then I start to I study this this paper, I, I reproduce this paper and I will show the, the, the publication that you can, I will show in the, in the publication section, I will show the publication where I summarize my, my findings. So after I uh, repeat the paper with MATLAB, with a single link, I was able to reproduce everything. We fat arrow here say that weight is a slow dynamic, it's a happy day. And now you are, we are faced now a problem because you need to a multiple time scale model and it has not been very easy. Constant proposed a very simple way and then it, and I actually to test it. He proposed to use uh, two functions, one for short time scale, another one for long time scale and then you integrate the two functions in, in, in the same place. It's a very nice idea and I still have to test it. Okay, so here is the is the is a scheme of the virtual, virtual system that we, we, we have the ambition to build. Uh, from, this, from this project of PhD, maybe I will not be able to finish the whole simulator, but at least here it is, it is the minimum that you have to achieve is to build this small simulator. This, uh, for insulin, we already have a lot of mathematical models, so that, that just a matter of making the program the computer. For this one, we will have to have a mathematical model for mice, but we are not mice, so we have to be, uh, pay attention to that model or improve it. So this will make a big simulator. This big simulator will be able in the future, if you achieve the, the goal, to be able to simulate, for example, a meal. You have a meal here, have a Coke, have a sandwich, have a tomato, an apple, whatever. The, uh, the, the, uh, your, your, your food will be processed. So here you have a, another work that certainly I'm not going to, to tackle it because he, he's called image process. Image process is when you have an image and you process, and you process the image and take the main character. You have, you have to apply special in your networks, you have to apply image technique. Here you have the graph, for example, you can plot whatever you want. If you achieve these three guys here, you can plot, for example, what happens to someone with diabetes. So in the, some of diabetes, if you if you make a, a treatment, if you ghrelin of treatment of leptin, can say that that replace the treatment of insulin. Some results are shown that yes, that in some cases of diabetes, it's better to use other hormones such as leptin instead of insulin. It's very important because in some cases they they found that the problem of the diabetes not that the person is unable to produce insulin, yet the person has some kind of uh, man, malfunction of the system. So leptin has been shown to have some effect on the beta cells. So if if leptin is able to influence the beta cells, we you should be able to simulate that somehow. So that's the challenge of the sim. That's the, the goal simulate to simulate some case and even to try to find new new uh, uh, scenarios that we would be very expensive and mean less to make in real life. So here I'm, I'm, I'm presenting the conclusion for a remark of some sort of two paper. Uh, that was the two paper of the introduction. I, I have shown here you the two paper here. This was the, the abstract of them. Now I'm show you the conclusion. Again, why I have chosen this two paper? Because this uh, the first paper showed the big picture. The other paper showed the show the the uh, show the uh, the point show the uh, the final so 
it's like he if you have a uh, have here the first page is here in general the other one is is a uh, is more specific so the, so here it will be the the first paper in the middle are others paper in the the other uh, others topics others uh, points and here we have the this, this other paper this is the final goal so in the uh, as, as you see or on the short paper with that paper that you want to see you, you, you can read you have discussed the importance of integrated mode of glucose glucose control process uh, process before was a very big challenge because we we uh, we know a lot several hormones but don't know how they work together how they work as a single picture and in nowadays even all the hormones are being discovered such as this one was discovered this year i was lucky enough for the author to send me a copy so in the second paper is more specific we uh, we have exploited a simple mathematical description of ghrelin as appetite energy homeostasis control so if you have a double dynamics which is a double function one was as appetite the other one is a, a energy homeostasis controller so that's one of the big important. Uh, all the simulations are, are, are in vitro and the, uh, are in vitro and all the simulations uh, 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 simulation are in vivo. Uh, we, uh, we, we have textbook paper from the literature and have compared our, our mathematical models so far it's doing very well. It has some limitation that what the, 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 the next step. I'm not getting detail on the limitation. Here on this paper that I have presented, you can find in my, my, my channel the presentation. I discuss very fast a uh, stochastic equation. Here is the is the, the paper I have mentioned before. I have mentioned I have studied leptin and then I have summarized all the all the all the, all the ideas on the short, very small paper. Here was the publication what which I has I got award as one of the best papers of the symposium. And the, then I, it was invited for a, for a journal. That's the, that's the that's the version for the journal. And here is the paper that was invited. Pasquale was invited by it to propose uh, to send a paper. Then you have decided to send this paper here. Here is the paper that I have mentioned before, the big picture. So this is the big picture. This one is the is more specific. It's more specific. This one is a paper that he, that is just a short literature review, which has to be used alongside this one. So this one show a very somehow detailed to review and this one is more mathematics so this one has to be used it must be used together in order to to give a good sense i have to give you once one seminar this year which was a, a methodology that i i i have been working for a while it's called the quantitative qualitative methodology it, 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 it before I mentioned several times to you before that I was up to give a talk. So this is the talk. You can find the my my page. You can find you can follow it in, follow it in Facebook, and it will be broadcast by YouTube. There is a very nice function of YouTube to broadcast. And I have given several talk since 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 February. So uh, they they were very important and the. Unfortunately, uh, I mean, you can find most of the slides in my in my research gate profile, and if you have any doubt, you can just can just let, have let me know. I can give you more detail. Uh, the teaching support I have, the, uh, this year, I have decided to give my to spend some time in the in the in the virtual uh, reality. I believe that's a very powerful way to teach, and you cannot do not have to pay. It's called e-learning. You I have done several several webinar. This project I have created last year, and here is a is a is a is a is a project that I have created in order to discuss my own project. So, uh, in my so let's say I you can create some uh, blog, channel, Facebook, then people can follow my work and so on. So here is my own channel. Uh, my own channel is a, has a general concern. I can publish whatever I want, but I, sometimes I publish my own work. When. So here is a list of of course that I have followed. Have for I have followed this, this summer school. It was about partial differential equation. The name of the of the summer school was mathematical thermodynamics of complex fluid. So the other one was two two maths of course, what suggested by Pasquale Palumbo. He suggested me last year. I have gone to one conference about the Portuguese of artificial intelligence. It was artificial intelligence applied to medicine. So the, all the model was connected to medicine. So production team was that was a conference where I, where I have presented the paper I have mentioned before about stochastic difference equation, and also was a place where I, I was selected to present my work on a on a, on a workshop 
and you can find the page of the event. So thanks a lot, as you say, as you say in Brazil, obrigado pela atenção.